by living your life, you are writing your life. And it may not be written down in prose and iambic pentameter, and you may not believe you're the protagonist or antagonist of your own story, but the life you live is the story you leave. Leopold Bloom isn't ready to go home. Hello. Tonight I'm going to be talking about James Joyce. Tomorrow is Bloom's Day. And for many years of my life, I have adhered to the customs and design of the Bloomsday celebrations. And for me, I'm, I'm not Irish, um, uh, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, what matters is James Joyce was one of the most prolific writers of all time. And I've spoken many times about how I, how much I love authors on this channel. Um, I visited Steinbeck's home and Robert Louis Stevenson and uh, Mark Twain. And uh, I live here because of Mark Twain, <laughs> because of the book Roughing It. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's just so inspiring to me. Uh, but James Joyce, my favorite writer of all time, um, which you know is uh, the great Charles Dickens. He, uh, Charles Dickens can do no wrong. Um, but there also aren't any authors that I really don't like. I don't know. I, I, I find something in everything. But I, what I really like, I think one of my favorite things is when an author is also the character. And I don't mean like they write themselves into their book, but you can tell that the book's about them. And, you know, I'm a fan of uh, Hunter S. Thompson and, you know, Raoul Duke is, is not Hunter S. Thompson, and, uh, but he is. And so when you look at Ulysses, when I'm always trying to get people to read Ulysses or to just look it up or just watch one video, something about it, the, the, what's so cool about it is it's different than anything you'll ever read. James Joyce weaves words in an intricate pattern. And what is to say is that though the story takes place over one day and it involves three characters, Ulysses, the book by James Joyce is, it's an amazing, saga and i have advocated for years to push people to please just read this book uh, because it is relative to your understanding of what you want to understand from the book and the book is in the reason people talk about it so much and i'll just lay it out the easy things it's it's a book by James Joyce uh, and it takes place over one day and it involves three characters and we go off uh, the plot's great I mean, we'll, we'll hold off on that the way that it's set up is it's written in in a lot of different styles some points it's written like a play other points it's a song some points it's in uh, onomatopoeia and I am big pentameter. And it it mirrors a tale of a tale of a sidestep and look into a mirror of a life that may be a real life or a life that just is. And it takes you on a ride and sometimes you look around and you're surrounded by riches and love and then you take another corner and it's taken away from you. And 
instead of experiencing it all at once, you experience it over the time, which is life, which is a day in the life. And so this is a day in the life of Leopold Bloom, and it's a journey, and it's usually celebrated on, uh, it is always celebrated on uh, June 16th. And uh, in Dublin, people will go and visit the landmarks that are mentioned in the book, which again, the book is, it's it's so rich and so, there's so much in there and it's, it's, it's dense. But if you take the time to pick it apart, it's like, it's, it's like looking through a microscope. It's, you, you get to see the way that Joyce weaves himself into the book and weaves the book around itself. And, and then, and then, here, 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 listen, listen. Here's a quote. Think you're escaping and run into yourself. Longest way round is the shortest way home. Getting fed on the word tonight. The James Joyce word. <sighs> love loves to love love. My, my entire YouTube. YouTube channel and it, it my life is set up a lot like the way Ulysses is structured right sometimes it's all just gibberish and trash sometimes it's it seems like trash it's, it's not sometimes it's the ting ting little bit of prattle prattle of the words or the bouncing off the, the the lips the teeth the tip of the tongue right to say it, it sometimes it's more contextual than literal Sometimes it's about the sound. Sometimes it's about that feeling over a 24 hour span. But again, what is a 24 hour span, right? <laughs> if Rome wasn't built in a day, how, how, how long did it take then? I mean, we, we know how much it what wasn't. We wanna know when the end of the project is. Move along, people. The first time I read Ulysses, I read it when I was young. And uh, nobody told me to read it. I didn't know to read it. I didn't know anything about it. And I still picked it up. And I read it. And it, people, people often say that it's difficult to read because it's written different. You know, he uses a he he uses sound as word. You know, a pitter titter tatter teet teet tar too, and it 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 bounces. It's like rain on a on a drum or or words popping off a palette and tinkling along. And and sometimes it's more contextual than it is literal. And sometimes it's literally literal. And sometimes it's just a little literal. James Joyce uh, once said that if Dublin were to be torn to the ground, that it could be built again from the pages of Ulysses. And it, yeah, on Bloomsday, which is uh, uh, June 16th, um, all of the spots around uh, Dublin where that take place in the book, people go on tours and they go on these pilgrimages and I, I have always wanted to go and uh right here is that there's no you are by living your life you are writing your life and it may not be written down in prose and iambic pentameter and you may not believe you're the protagonist or antagonist of your own story but the life you live is the story you leave